So I wanted to take a couple minutes and give people an uh, update on the real estate business as it relates to the COVID-19 uh, shelter in place order. First thing I want to talk about is just um, how how this is uh, affecting people and um, and we are aware of that and we are hoping that uh, and myself I hope that you know everybody is um, staying healthy and you know taking care of themselves and that we're all adhering to the you know the policies that have been laid out for us in order to you know accomplish these goals um, no matter how challenging they are um, so with that being said uh, we are moving forward by staying healthy um, the real estate industry is uh, it has slowed a little bit you know I've seen some numbers that maybe were down about 25% um, but of course we were uh, at such a blistering pace before the outbreak that even slowing down by 25% it's still actually quite a bit of activity out there um, but there's um, you know so there's still real estate transactions um, you know Joe and I actually just sold a house uh, yesterday yeah yesterday and um, so things are still going uh, but you know we are taking a lot of precautions and uh, some of those precautions are you know some virtual real estate services uh, I actually just wrote a blog post about this but um, some of those virtual real estate services are gonna be oh and just so you know what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do so um, real estate professionals have been deemed essential by the governor now so uh, yay us um, I don't know how essential we are but people need to move and it's not um, always like financially motivated you know so our three um, sales that are coming up are all motivated uh, for different reasons but um, one is uh, you know retirement and, and a couple are estate sales so I mean things happen and so you have to you have to keep doing you have to keep doing it so um, what can be performed uh, now uh, individual showings um, as long as they're done one at a time and as long as they're done um, with the necess necessary precautions like so when um, I take to somebody to show a house I bring out uh, rubber gloves hand sanitizer and disinfecting wipes so um, we make sure that we keep everybody safe and healthy um, we can do um, photography now so photographers were deemed essential uh, we can do home inspections um, and movers are allowed to uh, work so uh, and then what was already uh, deemed essential were mortgage lenders uh, title and escrow companies mobile signing services and of course we were allowed to send and um, accept uh, offers and legal contracts and things so uh, now everything that is required to buy or sell a house is um, we are able to do so long as we take the necessary precautions so uh, but some of the things that we're doing virtually um, you know to help uh, protect people are uh, virtual meetings so uh, we're using the zoom platform to do uh, listing our listing and buyer presentations and also to you know meet with clients to discuss options and that kind of thing um, we're also doing um, virtual uh, signings which has always been a thing uh, but you know I think it's important to point out here so we use a software called AuthentiSign which is a uh, easy to use and legally binding um, contract uh, software so e-signature um, software um, we're also doing virtual staging now so and uh, I was thinking about it as I'm saying this I'm not sure if staging is, al is allowed or deemed essential right now I think it might be um, but if not we offer a virtual staging service where we can uh, take the photos and have it uh, beautified you know so that's that first impression that people get is looking at you know pictures online um, 3d virtual tours that's again something we've always done but you know now it's being pushed out into the forefront um, of course you know a friend of mine um, and I bought a Matterport camera 
together. And Matterport's the company that kind of started the whole 3D virtual tour thing. But we bought one of those cameras years ago. It was like $5,000 or something like that. And uh, we started to try to build a, um, a 3D virtual tour business. But I think we were a little ahead of the curve at that point. And uh, now it's really catching on and people are really, um, you know, it's kind of a requirement. Um, and then virtual video production. So uh, we can take a video of the tour and then add um, some professional photographs along with some music and then kind of send that out to all of our social media channels and run Facebook and Google ads. So we can actually do quite a bit virtually um, and then everything else we can do um, you know, one at a time uh, in a safe way and um, you know, together as long as everybody you know, takes this responsibility serious we can keep moving forward and um, you know, we are open for business. So um, if you have any needs or have any questions or anything, give me a holler. Uh, thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.